let me get this person real quick. I just pulled up. Wasn't nobody here, right? I said, let me sit here and chill and see who's going to show up. Sure enough. <laughs> Sure enough, red car showed up. Check him out with the door wide open. Go and get on out, man. Get on out, man. Let's show your face, man. You two want to see what the stalkers look like. Everybody want to know what gang stalkers look like. Right now, we're about to show you what gang stalkers look like. So you got to understand, gang stalkers look like regular people. They do. They look like regular people. People that you see every day on the norm, on the norm. They work with you. They're on your job. They're at the hospital. They're at the gym. They at church, they at the mosque. The gang stalkers are everywhere. The gang stalkers are the regular people that you see every day. That's who the gang stalkers is. Gang, I want to, I want to make, I want to make it clear to the people that don't know, gang stalkers don't have nothing to do with gang banging. Okay, we want to, we want to put that, we want to lay the cards on the table. Gang stalking and gang, gang bangers are two different groups. Gang stalkers are people that work for a secret society. Not saying that gang bangers don't, but we're not talking about gang bangers. We're not talking about bloods and the crips. We talking about gang stalkers. We talking about people that sold out. Look how old this guy is. I told, I told y'all, man. They don't they don't care. Look at this dude. He could barely walk. Hunchback and everything. They don't care, man. You know, see, see, gang stalkers are a are secret. Are, they are a secret society. Eastern Star Mason puppet, you know, whatever. They might have did a little bit of time in the military. You know, or maybe not. You know what I'm saying? You know, it all it comes in all shapes, size, and colors. Gang stalkers have many different backgrounds. You got you, you even have some gang members turn gang stalkers. Gang stalkers are FBI agents, um, CIA agents. They work for the local police department, they're snitches. They might have they might have caught a case back in the day. They might want to get their cases expunged. Gang stalkers would do anything to get a car. Gang stalkers would do anything to get a crib. Gang stalkers would sell their own mama out. Yeah, they would do anything to get to the top. Gang stalkers don't give a damn. They don't they don't have no soul. You know they don't you know and and some of them of course they might be pressured to do the shit, but some of them are 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 willing willingly. Are participating in 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 the uh, in the criminal activities because they don't have nothing else to do. Gang stalkers are low life perps. They they don't they don't want to work. Some work, some don't. Some just sit around all day in the crib and just gang stalk. Look at this old man. Now, as you can see, I'm at the track field. Now you know damn well this old man wouldn't think about running no damn track, and neither was I. <laughs> I'm at the track field. Neither was I. I wasn't thinking about it either. But I just, you know, you got to be spontaneous when it comes to the gang stalkers. You got to be spontaneous. So I said, let me just pull up. Let me just pull up here. You know what I mean? And see what the deal is. See who's going to, since there wasn't nobody out here. So let me just pull up. Let me just pull up and see what's, see what's popping. I just got off from work. The gang stalkers was at the job, but the day wasn't that bad because it rained today. So it wasn't that bad, but the gang stalker was still there, you know, riding through, riding past directed energy and shit like that. As long as they got NASA and DARPA, you know, if you're a target individual, you're still going to feel the wrath of the beast. Take him out. Check check what they told old, old man to come here and do. This is some bullshit, man. Man, you know this some... They done told this old man... To come to the track field when I arrive. Now, mind you, I was here first. Now he, now he decide. Now I, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you. See, this is how. Re this is how you know. This is how you know that some of these gang stalkers are forced to do it. Now, the younger crowd might be all excited to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the hiccups. Now, oh yeah, yeah, I want to get down when they get there because they don't know no better. But when you this age, you you know that this dude, man, he probably mad as hell. You know what I mean? He, you know he mad. You like, man, I was home watching Mash, eating, eating uh, what what the old eating uh, what the old heads eat? Uh, peanut brittle. Man, I was watching Mash eating peanut brittle. 
you know what I mean, kicking back, probably smoking a cigar or something. And then here I go showing up at the damn track. And obviously it must not be nobody else available or something. Or maybe, maybe this is something that he got to participate in because you know you got to pay the debt when it, when it comes to the beast. The beast like, now nah, you owe me. You've been, you've been slacking on the gang stalking. Get your punk ass up and get your ass to the damn track field and drive your red car and take your red walker because we got a T.I. over there. Now we need you to babysit him because as soon as he pulled up i felt the signal hit me in the head you know what i mean as soon as he put as soon as he pulled up so it must it must be like um like either if, if the microwave weapons is not in the car it must like the cell phones so it must it, it must be like once you have that app because i noticed this all over and over and over like once the perp show up and they got that cell phone and they connected to the hive mind with that with the app then it's like an automatic signal is trans is transferred or transmitted straight into the targeted individual. Whether whether wherever you feel like, and people say, oh, they feel shocks or stings or whatever. Whenever they pull up, whenever they pull up, and you feel like a shock, a shock wave, or you know, a signal implantation or whatever, that's them. Cause see, the bees are slick. Now, now look, I. I I know Robert Duncan has said that it's, it's not the perps doing it. It's, it's coming from NASA. It's coming from DARPA. Now, look, yeah, to a degree, he is right. Because at the end of the day, yeah, it is coming from NASA and coming from the satellites and everything. But at the same time, if the perps got the app, then therefore, they still need the perp to be around the target. Because, because look, if they didn't need... The reason why they need the perp around the target because the, the perp got to implant the target with whatever microwave weapons they're assigned to do the targeting with or the harassment with. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why they need the gang stalker to be around the target 24-7. I mean, how else can you explain it? And because I always know that I notice that when nobody's around me, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine. There's no, there's no shocks. There's no stings. There's nothing zapping me in the head. I don't feel no signal in, being inserted inside my brain when there ain't no boss around. But as soon as they show up, bam, I'm being hit with signals all day. So it has to be the cell phones and the app that they're connected to to send the, to send the signal directly to the target. Like I said, how else can you explain it? So you know you gotta you gotta uh, play blues clues here. You gotta put the pieces to the puzzle together, and you gotta analyze the shit yourself. You know what I mean? That's all y'all got. Y'all not gonna send them more perps. That's the only thing y'all. That's the only one that was available. Where the rest of them at? Where the rest of the perps? Just one. So I don't know what I'm about to do. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get out. I just I was just. I was just bullshitting, y'all. I was just pulled up. I said, let me just sit here and chill. Cause that's how you know that you know you on the you on the watch list that wherever you go, you know what I mean? Look at him. Check him out. Did he come out of his shirt? Get the hell out of here. Grandpa came out of his shirt. I think grandpa would have been trying to flex, man. But anyway, man, you know, like I said, you'll know if you on a watch list, if you can't go nowhere without being by yourself. They got to they got to send people. They got to be around you cuz this is a slow kill. You see what I'm saying? Why, why 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 do you why do um a lot of target individuals always claim that they're being poisoned? It's not it's not really the fact that you're being poisoned. See a lot of a lot of y'all say I'm not saying that you're not, but I'm just saying what I'm trying to tell you is that they don't have to do that shit. They look, the the technology is so advanced. They don't have to poison you. They ain't got to spike your drink or put something in your water or put something in your juice or put something in your food. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, I ate something. I felt sick. That's That could be directed energy weapons. Because you don't know how much nano you got in your body. body. Because I talk to a lot of targets, and I'm like, what are you taking to detox? And they ain't taking jack shit. So, therefore, you got, you got a body infested 
with parasites. You got a body infested with nanotechnology. So all they got to do is send a perp around you. And look, and you can go to, let's say you go to Taco Bell or go eat some pizza or something. They send a they send a bot next to you, hit you with some directed energy with the cell phone, and then all of a sudden have you make you have diarrhea or make you constipated or make you feel some type of pain or make you feel sick, make you make you nause, um, nauseous and make you throw up or whatever, whatever the case may be. And you be like, oh man, it was something wrong with the pizza. No, it wasn't. You just never, you ain't detoxify your nasty ass. So that's why every time when I talk to a target, I'm like, look, what are you taking to detox? Oh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't taking nothing. Well, well you law, you lunching. Because you need to be taking some shit. You need to be cleaning your ass out every day. You can't stop. You can't take no days off. You think, do a perp take a day off from stalking you? Do a gang stalker take a day off from harassing your ass? No, he don't. Or no, she don't. NASA is on your ass every day, 24-7. Say it with your damn chest. You know what I'm saying? So, so at the end of the day, you know, everybody is infested. Everybody got parasites in the body because we all breathe the same air and we all eat the same bullshit. And if they and then targeting individuals, make, what makes us worse is that they're inserting shit in you. They're implanting you. While you sleep. You think they're not implanting you while you sleep? That's the that's the perfect time to fuck with you. While you sleep. Your, your body just laying there on the bed. Or if you're homeless, you're on the ground, wherever you at. So they got a perfect opportunity to hit your ass up with a whole bunch of nanotechnology. And then you wake up. And then you you walking around. And then you wonder why you got cars following you every damn way. Every, every damn where. Because you got so much fucking parasites and implants in your body they just tracking everything you do and that's how they're able to read your thoughts and know what you're about to do because it's so much it's so much um microchips and so so many so many receptors in your body that you you just broadcasting <laughs> we got a live broadcast right here holla back y'all i'm running out of time y'all keep your heads up uh. The world needs their presidents. House with foreclosure, now you ain't got no residence. Infested by this world, got me surrounded in this pestilence. Created my own Bible, I got the New Testament. So many snares in my life, shit you talking irrelevant. My soul is heaven sent, my rhymes are medicine. Take a dose of some knowledge, it's how you're learning like you went to college. I'm in the fast lane with low mileage. Not a rich nigga, so I salvage. I hear you screaming, but you're not the loudest. Are you mature? Why you acting childish? This land crumbles like the twin towers. It's God in heaven looking down, watching Satan devour his own people. The roots is a sequel. As a child, never knew the days are medieval. Drug stores on every corner, weeds still illegal. Take a glimpse at my life. This is just a preview. Uh, yeah.